Hi everyone and welcome back to Monday's Nail of the Week. Stay tuned to see what I chose for my first set of fall nails. Welcome back everyone. Great to see you and great to be back in doing another nail of the week for Monday. My first fall set of nails. Let's look at them. Aren't those cool? Love the smoke effect. Love the train tracks. I just think that they turned out really adorable and just really cool. I love the effect of the smoke. I just think that is the most awesome part of it. I don't know. I love it. I almost was going to do every nail like that, but I added in the train track because this is a themed set of nails. So go ahead and take a guess. What do you think I'm going to do for my Fashion Friday look, my first fall fashion? Excited about that. But before we go on, let's go ahead and read our words of Jesus for women. Let's see, which one are we on? Um, okay. Got to turn over to the next page. We're on love one another. John 15, 12. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. And it goes on to say, this simple sentence packs a really big punch. Love as Jesus loves, unconditionally. Don't nitpick. Don't hold grudges. Give others the benefit of the doubt. Forgive when necessary. Just love. Of course, it isn't always easy to love this way, but you don't have to do it on your own. Jesus will help you to love others in ways you never knew you could. A life filled with love is so much better than a life filled with strife. And I talk about that a lot too. I talk about loving thy enemy, people that hurt you. Definitely there are people out there, you know, that hurt you, but love them, love everybody, you know? And if you have a hard time loving everybody, you know, we don't have to give pearls to the swine. It says it right in the Bible, but still love everybody. Ask Jesus to give you that love inside of you. Jesus, please give me that love to love others, even when they're, you know, they do me wrong and all of that, because God loves everyone. God so loved the world. John 3, 16. God so loved the world. Every time I say that, I get chills. He loved the entire world. That's why he sent his son to die for us so we could have our salvation. And if we believe, we have eternal life. So, you know, to love everybody could be hard some days. I know sometimes we get into that part in our life where even our husbands or our wives or our mates or, you know, uh, our kids really, you know, we want to strangle them. But love everybody. Love everybody. It's important to love everybody. And ask Jesus to help you with that. If you're having a hard time with that, you can definitely ask him to help you with that. Love like Jesus. That's what I always say. Love like Jesus. And especially the enemy. Because when they are hurting you or doing something to hurt you, it's because they're not happy in their life. They may claim that they are, but they're not. And so when they have to come in and, you know... Uh, say something or hurt you in a way it's because they're not happy with their life so they have to find fault in yours and that's you know kind of what a narcissist is they have to find fault they can't admit that they're the ones at fault so they want to find fault in you but you know what we don't want them to feel that way right we want Jesus to love them to take care of them and we want them to be happy we don't want them to be sad in their life so pray for them pray for thy enemy pray for everybody don't just focus on yourself pray for everyone and love everyone the end goes on to say, Dear Father, I think I'm pretty good at loving others, but when I stop and think about it, I guess I get critical about some things. I'm sorry for that. I ask you to help me to be more accepting and loving and to focus on the things that really matter. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's true. You know, we all get to that rut. We all get to that point where I know that there's nights that I'll go to bed and say, gosh, I'm, I'm really sorry, Lord. Forgive me for my known and, un, you know, known and unknown sins. And, you know, if I did judge anyone today or say anything wrong or, you know, that might have been hurtful, please forgive me for that, Lord. Let me continue to love like you. Let me be loving and kind. And it was funny. Today, I actually... I'm in my church outfit. I actually got stung by a bee today for the first time in like 10 years. I got stung on my neck. 
And the pastor said to me, that's because you're so sweet. He said, the honeybees just love you because you're such a sweetheart. And his nephew had just got done saying that. They weren't even together. They were apart. You know, we were having a little gathering outside. We had a little uh, food truck out there, kind of like a fair food truck out there. And his uh, nephew had said the same thing to me. He said, that's because you're such a sweetheart. So I hope that I always come off as that. I always want to be that person. You know, a lot of people say, your mom named you right. Well, I know that there are days that the, the little horns pop out. I definitely do have a side to me that like a little bulldog, I've had people tell me that I should have been a lawyer because I like to fight. Um, I just, I do fight for my right when I feel that I am right. But yeah, I am trying to work on that, you know, being slower to anger and stuff like that because it does say don't be quick to anger. But, you know, I'm not perfect. But it is great to know that a lot of people think that I am sweet. And everybody that lives around here since I moved in says the same thing. You are just a sweetheart. And I hope I can always be that way and come off you know, as that good Christian woman, because God knows the truth. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It's what God thinks and knows, okay? And as long as other people see that in me, that's what I want. I want them to see that good Christian girl. So, because I want to be that great Christian and spread the good word to everybody. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. The best, most precious book you'll ever read. It's my most favorite book now. I love reading it. Spend quality alone time with him. Go into a room and just be, you know, make it quiet, close the door, and spend time with him. Reading his scriptures and praying to him and praying for others and asking others to be happy and, you know, for their life to be good and just read his word. You'll love what he wrote in here. You'll just absolutely love it. And, you know, like I said, start your day and go through your day and end your day praying and seeking God because you're going to live a much happier life. You definitely will. Get that salvation with God. If you don't have it yet, get it because Jesus is returning soon. Could be a hundred years from now. We don't know, but he is returning soon. And whether he comes before you die or not, you got to be ready and you want that salvation. So, you know, a hundred percent you're going to heaven and you can know that. That's what's great. So, hope you guys enjoyed those verses. I know I sure did. And I will continue to love all of you, no matter what. I love everybody. And if I have a bad day, I'll ask God to love, you know, help me to love more. If you're new to my channel, right there is the red subscribe. Sorry, my alarm went off. Hit that notification bell so you're notified of all of my new uploads. Share around my channel so I can grow bigger and help many people with nails, toes, fashion, the Bible, you know, teach people about that, their walk with Christ and the keto diet and even cleaning now. I've got a multi-channel, so definitely share it around. And if you enjoyed those verses, you love me, shoot me a thumbs up. Let's get started on these awesome smoke and train nails and tell me what you think I'm going to be doing for my fall fashion. I love all of you guys very much. God bless and take care. Let's get started. Hi everyone! So here's what I chose to go with for my very first set of fall nails. We've got some navy blue with smoke nails, some striped white and blue nails, and some train tracks. Stay tuned to see how I did this one. Hi everyone and welcome back to Nail of the Week and my very first fall set of nails. I'm excited you guys! As you see, I've got some navy blue nails and a couple of white nails. The pinky and thumbs are done with the white. And then over the navy blue, we're going to be doing a smoke effect. And then over the white nails, I believe I'm going to be doing just some striping with navy blue going down the nail. I'll show you the supplies. So for the navy blue, I use this one, the Kiss Gel. Love the Kiss Gel. Hate that the dollar store is kind of running out of them. I don't know if they're going to get them back in. It's called That Moment, and it's a gorgeous navy blue, as you see. And then the white, also a Kiss Gel, and that's just the numbers there. It doesn't have a color. It's just the numbers. Again, I hope that they get more in because I love the quantity of it, how much you get, and for a dollar, and the quality of it because it's a gel. I love it. Topped it off with Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat, and then to do the smoke effect, I'm going to be using a white acrylic paint got from uh, Walmart for 50 cents, and water. We'll be spraying a lot of water in it. I'll be using a flat brush here to be doing the effect along with Robin Moses' wand, her uh, liner brush, or yeah, liner. She has a striper too, the unicorn. It's robinmosesmiller.com is how you order them. I gotta clean my brush off, it gets dirty. Uh, but her brushes are red sable hair. She made them and has a line of them and the shipping is wonderful. They're $10 a piece or 18 if you order both. And I recommend you order both, they're wonderful brushes. All right, so that's what I'll be doing to do the smoke effect with both of those. I'm using the uh, liner one of hers to do the design and then using this to kind of spread it out with the wet, you know, the water and stuff. You'll see as I go along. 
And then for the striping, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the acrylic uh, navy blue paint here. It's English Navy uh, by Apple Barrel. Or if I'm going to use the paint right from the bottle so it matches exactly. But these colors are pretty close. So I think it's going to be okay. And acrylic paint's a little easier to work with because polish dries so quick. But I'm going to use the brush out of here. Okay, I'm not going to be using the silver paint here. It, this is a Kiss uh, liner polish. Um, I'm going to be just wiping everything off and using this beautiful long tip. I like this better um, for what I'm doing because I need these to be very, very thin. And Robin's Unicorn, it's a little thicker, so it's harder to get real, real, real thin, thin, thin lines. So I'm going to use the brush out of here. And like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or the acrylic paint, but I'll let you know as I go along to tell you that. Then I'm going to be trying to work with this stuff here. This is made to go over gel polishes that you use a light with. So you can um, put it on with the brush. It's that real fine uh, glitter. This one in here is, I got it offline, been wanting to try to incorporate doing like gel nails and stuff with like the, the, the um, lamp and all that. And I've got the lamp. I've actually got two lamps and all of that. I just haven't started yet. But there it is there. And what I want to do is... To get it to stick, I'm going to try to use this. Never tried yet, but this here, this yellow stopper that I get from Sally's is a tacky consistency. So I thought maybe if I put that on, let it dry almost all the way in some certain spots around the smoke, I could maybe put this on and it would stay and then top coat it with a sesh bead. So we're going to at least tempt that out. I hope it works. If not, I am then going to just work with my, um, sorry, my uh, micro glitter I have here that would definitely go on the tackiness of that yellow and just put it on with that. And I just want some areas of the smoke to have that shimmer. I'm just looking for kind of that shimmer look of some spots as you turn the nail, it would shimmer, okay? And then the white lines. I don't think I'm doing any more than that for this particular design I'm doing. Um, it's coming with the theme as well for Fashion Friday. And exciting, I will be still doing my toe design since it still is a little bit warmer and I do still wear some open toe. I'm going to keep the toe designs going for a little bit longer. So Jennifer, you win. I'm going to go a little longer with it since I do, you know, wear some. And like for my fashion, I'm going to be wearing open toe anyway. So I think I'm going to go ahead and continue and try to finish up my shoe collection anyways and add that into there. Um, when I do stop it, I'll just be having a separate video, probably do it in the nail video. I'll probably add the toe collection with that, um, shoe collection, I'm sorry with that but until then i'll keep doing my toe designs for a little while longer since i'm still wearing open toe and you're still going to see the feet and if you don't and i wear something close toe well you still got to see the toe designs so all right i'm going to get started i'm going to start doing probably the lines first and then i'll come back in and show you how i'm doing that and then we'll work on the smoke effect i will return okay i'm back and you see i've got the striping going on both thumbs and the pinky. I left one pinky open and I am using the acrylic paint. It seems to be much better and using that brush that came in the bottle. So here's my acrylic paint and I did add a little bit of water into it. So we're just gonna get a little bit of paint on the brush since it's a nice thin brush, much easier to work with. Turn the finger to the side, just gonna set it down and just kind of anchor and just pull to the end. Being very, very careful, you know, just do it light, you know, no rush. And um, yeah, that's good. Okay. And then get a little bit more paint. Make sure not to have too much paint on it. And again, set it down and just kind of be anchoring it as you pull it down to the end and then just kind of go through it again so it gets a little darker. Okay. And then we'll do another one. You don't want any uh, bumps or anything at the end of the paint. So be careful with that. Do another one here, anchor, and just be pulling it down the nail. When you get to the end, just, you know, go through it again just to darken it. And we'll do one more here. One more on this side. I just needed these to be pretty thin stripes, not like when I did my um, sailor look. They could be wider. I needed these to be thinner. So that worked out perfect. That's really good right there. I really like that. I like the look of the striping, how that turned out. It's perfect. All right, now we're gonna start working on the smoke effect. It's really cool. I'll be right back, I'll get some done. Okay, now we've got the smoke going. Isn't that cool looking? So awesome, definitely looks like smoke is coming up off the nail. Isn't that sweet looking? I love it. Okay, so we're gonna show you how to do that. Pretty simple. 
I've got white here, white acrylic paint. It's really watered down. So you just want to get a really watered down so that it's pretty much like just water almost. All right. And then just however you want on the nail, just go like this and kind of just circle around, kind of doing like zigzag because smoke would never be perfect the way it comes off. So just do it however you want. Then grab your flat brush while it's still wet. And you want to go in between here and soak up some of that liquid. That's what you want to do so you get the lines around it. Soak up some of that liquid like that. And then you can go back over it again, okay, and add a little bit more, um, you know, just to give it a little bit more effect. You can keep playing with it till you like it, like that. And then we're going to go back in again, and I'm going to suck some more of that water out because we want the perfect effect of smoke. And this surely does do the trick. Super easy to do. Isn't that awesome? And when you're set and done and you feel you just love the way it looks, you are done. I'm done with that one. That's where I want to leave it. I love these. Aren't these awesome? Now let's hope that that uh, yellow stopper works to put in that um, powder. Like I said, it's more for gel nails to rub it in to give that look of that chrome look. Um, I'm trying to do it with uh, just that top coat. I'm going to let it dry almost all the way and this just tap in some of that uh, loop, really, really loose powder. If it doesn't work, I'll use my, um, uh, you know, very micro glitter. I'll use that. But I just want some spots just to make it shimmer so the smoke kind of, as you turn your hand, gets that little bit of glisten like that. All right, so let me get some done. I'm going to paint them, like I said, just some of the areas with this. I'm not going to paint the whole nail because I don't want the whole nail to have it on it. So I'm just going to kind of go through the smoke. So I'll get a few done, then I'll come back in and show you guys, okay? Okay, it's exactly working what I wanted. Thank God. And I do have a little fan brush here. After I'm all done, I'm just going to brush off the loose so you can just get it off the loose glitter so it's not going to be on the rest of the whole nail. You see that, how you can just brush it off like that because I only want it in the parts where I put the stuff on. So just because it kind of falls off, you just want to brush it off with the fan brush, um, one of these fan brushes, okay? All right, and then we'll see if we got any on this one. I just did two over here. I did leave one open for you guys, but let's get any loose glitter off. Okay, let's draw it in. Now I've left this out of the, whoops, uh -oh. <laughs> I dropped it, sorry. I left this out of the bottle just because I don't need a lot of this and I wiped it like, you know, really wiped the brush off in the bottle. And then I'm just gonna go just do into a couple little areas where I want this to be tacky. And because it dried pretty much, we need to get a little bit more. But you see what I'm doing here? I go into the bottle and I mean, I wipe it off. I don't need a lot at all. I just want a tiny little bit. All right, so we'll go up into this corner, down into that corner, and then maybe just a little bit right there. Like I said, it's a dry brush technique and you can go right away into your little bit of glitter. I'm just using it right out of the cap here because the cap had some. And just tap where you put that glitter. Just tap it in where you put the glitter. Just tap. And then I did some up here because I don't want it through the whole design. I want you to see the smoke effect. But I want it to have a little bit of glisten to it. So like that. Then that's done. Then we just take our brush, our fan brush, and just fan it all away from the rest of the nail so we don't have to worry about having glitter on the whole nail that it's just on that smoke effect. Very easy to do. And I think they are awesome, you guys. Aren't these awesome? Love the smoke effect. I think they really turned out cool. I love it. I am going to clean up a little bit here. Let me take this brush here, wipe it off. And around this nail right here, some of this white here, I don't like how it got in there kind of deep. So I'm just going to clean that off a little bit. I didn't like that. It was too, too much to the side there. And I do got to clean my fingers and stuff. Got stuff all over. So... All righty, now we are going to top coat. I think I'm going to leave it right here. I might have one more idea I want to do, and if I do, I'm going to do that. Otherwise, I'm going to top coat everything with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast, and I'll come back in to show you guys the end product. Okay, now by doing what I did, might have given away what Fashion Friday is going to be. Maybe you'll be able to guess it, maybe you won't. Um, I might add a little bit more to this. But that's what I've got going, and I'm going to show you how I did that. I started with the navy blue. I got some navy blue in a cap here. And I just drew a line on each side, kind of zigzagging. Just going like this and just coming around like that. 
We're going to do a second one up here, kind of again, just following along like that. Okay. And then I did take the navy blue and do some lines here just to add a few more lines in, even though I'm going to do the brown too, just to add a little bit more to the look like that. Just some thin lines. Okay. And then I did take my silver liner paint and I did go along that line and fill it in along the outside lines. And I probably should wait till it's dry. Probably should. <laughs> just trying to do all this on while I'm on or whatever. But just take your uh, liner here and just follow along that navy blue line that you made and just get it filled in silver. Okay. And because it's wet, like I said, it's probably not taking as well as it would if it was dry. And acrylic paint dries pretty quick, so you could just wait. I'm a little bit impatient here. <laughs> so let's get a little bit more paint and do the other side. Like that. Now we've got both sides done with the silver paint on each side. Okay. Then I've got some brown out, some brown acrylic, and I'm just using this one. This one is by Folk Art, and I believe it's called Antique Copper. Got it in a cap right here. Just going to grab a little bit of that. And we're going to go through the design and make some wider lines. We need these a little bit wider than the other lines. A little bit wider. And just have them right next to each other going down all the way along this design. Like that. Just till you get to the end. Like that. Now, I might be doing something else with this. There they are there, and there they are there. So I might have another idea what I want to do. So I'm going to see and see if I can do that, and then I will come back in and show you guys. Let me just get a little closer here. I'll come back in and show you guys if I decide to do more. Okay, now through the design, I did some silver dots you see that on each side so we're gonna go ahead and do that and i'm grabbing some silver acrylic paint now and that one is by the palmer paints and it's just called silver and it's a beautiful shimmer one and i'm using my smallest dotting tool okay because these are very little so i want to wipe just a little bit off and then just on each side of the brown i'm just going to put a dot top and bottom of it Go to the top, to the bottom, grab a little bit more paint, and we'll make sure we fill those in. And the last two right there, just to have the little uh, silver dots there. I don't wanna exactly say what it is. I'm sure you guys are already guessing now what that is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do that or if I was just gonna leave it. But I don't know, I think it looks cute. I think it was a cute idea to do. So we've got that in, and I believe that's all that we're going to do. And now I'm going to top coat everything, and I'll come back in and show you guys the end product. All righty, everyone, I am all done. And I am digging these. Aren't those smoked nails awesome? Now, don't worry, nothing to do with cigarette smoke. There will be a theme with these. And like I said, I will be doing a toe design. I'm going to keep doing them for a little bit longer. So Jennifer, I hope you enjoy that. I will continue to do that. So there'll be a toe design and a Fashion Friday themed look coming in with a bang. I went out with a bang portraying Sandy from Greece. And now we've got a themed one here with the smoke nails and the train tracks. Can you guess what this one's going to be? I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe happy, and healthy. Everybody take care and God bless.